The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Fowers Games. Hello and welcome to another special unboxing episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad, and Megan is not here again, and I was impatient. I really wanted to open up this new game, which is now boarding from Fowers Games. Now this is a game I've actually had a chance to demo a couple times. It is a real-time cooperative pickup and deliver, where you're going to be moving passengers all across the country on various airlines, going through various routes and so forth. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Alrighty, one thing I wanna point out that uh, people may have missed is that uh, in the logo for now boarding, you can see the outline of an airplane. So I actually missed that the first time and a buddy of mine pointed it out. But go ahead and show you the back of the box there. Two to five players, ages 10 and up, 30 to 60 minutes. That's about right. So we'll go ahead and open this. Stop, don't get lost reading the rules. So you can go to Fowers Games and I guess get an overview so you don't have to read the rule book. But the rules are not really that difficult. Show you the rule book here. And the artwork is in the same style as like um, Burgle Brothers. So if you're familiar with how that looks as far as the characters go, you're going to notice uh, some similarities in this game as well. So we have our, what I call the anger cubes. That may be actually what they're called. This is what you're going to place on passengers uh, during the maintenance phase of each turn if they are still in an airport. These are standard little red cubes, wooden cubes there. And then we have our little uh, meeple airplanes. And kudos because they have green and blue. So they have dad versus daughter colors. These are really kind of neat. Now, the game comes with two different timers. One is a 15 second timer, and the other one is a 30 second timer. Uh, you can probably tell this is the 30, this is the 15. That's because in a two and three player game, you're gonna use the 15 seconds, and then a four and a five player, you'll use the 30 seconds. You got a series of cards here. Now on the cards, on the backs of the cards, it'll say where these passengers are going to start off at what airport. And then when you flip them over on the other side, it'll show you where they're going to go. And when you deliver these passengers, you're going to get that amount of money. So based on the number of players that you have, uh, I think the only city that you get rid of in a two and three player game is Seattle. You can see LAX, Miami, uh, what else we got? Uh, this is... Uh, O'Hare for Chicago, and I'll tell you the city down below there. There's Seattle, San Francisco, and then that's also what is in these. Now, this has the VIP cards, and that is kind of a, a variant. So, once you are experienced players of this game, then you can start introducing the VIP cards show you what those look like so you can see and it tells you uh, which time of day you're going to be using these so the game is broken out basically into uh, dividing the day into three times you have morning uh, afternoon and evening so you can see evening afternoon and morning and just kind of show you these a minor I can't fly alone so be like an unaccompanied minor can't fly through weather, impatient, crying baby. Yeah, all other passengers gain one anger per turn. That's not good. Uh, this requires an additional seat. If 
First in line, Celebrity, Must Fly Alone. Grumpy, Maximum 3 Anger, and Direct Flight. So these are things to kind of uh, add a little bit of difficulty. And I want to say that uh, the number of games that I've played, I have not actually won yet. Uh, so that's something you, I think you really want in a uh, cooperative game is you want to make sure that it's got a pretty good uh, degree of difficulty. So you saw that the uh, VIP, it mentioned weather. You're going to have a bunch of different weather cards. Um, weather will be either a storm, which will add uh, an extra distance to your route, or it'll be a tailwind, which will eliminate one of the uh, distances. So this will show you where that weather is going to be. In this case, it's between Atlanta and Miami, Atlanta and JFK, and so forth. And this will make sense once I show you the board here in a minute. And you'll have uh, six weather per uh, time of day. There's a little, here's the pre-flight board. Basically, it shows you in your player count how many cards you're going to have in the pile for morning, afternoon, and evening. You've got your weather, and it tells you how many uh, weather you're actually going to pull. So uh, most of the time, I think we've played with six or with four players. So uh, that's why we've always had six. But you can see we're going to have uh, only two and four in a two and three player game. You can see what that looks like. And then here are the upgrades. Now these are the important things because the temp ones are, that's always going to cost you that amount. And, but it's only going to last either for one turn or for one of your passengers. Now you're going to start with your plane having one seat and an engine that is three. So that's why you see your speed four because your your next speed up would be a fourth, it'll cost you five bucks, fifth will cost you seven, and so on. And then the seats, because like I said, you're gonna start with one, your second seat will cost you five, your third will cost you nine, and so forth. And then the routes here, these are the different airlines that each player is gonna have. So like when I'm the green player, I have the A route, or the uh, A airline, and other players will have these. But what you can do is you can actually buy uh, basically like a route uh, permit that allows your airline to fly on that route. And that'll make sense when I show you the board right now, which the board is not a big board. And it is double-sided based on the number of players. You'll see down here, this says two to three players. And you'll notice that Seattle is not listed, but if I flip this over to the four and five player side, then you can see we do have Seattle. Now remember I was telling you about those different routes. So you can see the red player, he can only fly between here and here, and then any spots that have just the white dots. So for instance, between San Francisco and Denver, there are no airline uh, logos there, so anybody can fly on those. Same with between Denver and Atlanta, Atlanta to JFK, JFK to uh, O'Hare. But the uh, A airline, he's the only one who can fly this route between Atlanta and Dallas-Fort Worth, unless somebody else gets that permit. So let's show you the punch outs. So like I was saying that the art looks like um, the art in other Fowers games. So like I said, if you're familiar with Burgle Brothers, you'll see basically these characters. Because there's the character I was called Machete in uh, uh, Burgle Brothers. But you're going to pop these out. This is the front part of your plane. Here's the tail part of your plane. It shows you what your airline logo is. Here are the temporary upgrades. So there's the temporary plus one speed, the temporary plus one seat. More tail fins. Here are the engines. So show you here's your three speed engine and your one speeds now if you flip the ones over they're going to be twos now here's some more and then here are the weather tokens so you'll see during a storm it is it shows two tokens so you would actually place that on top of one of the other tokens here or the uh, spots on the board so let's just say that we had weather between denver and atlanta uh, and that weather was a storm i would take this and place it on top of one of these dots. So now I've added an extra, basically a leg to this route. 
then that's what the tailwinds look like. This is what the seats look like. And then finally, this is what the other uh, airline permits look like. So let me punch those out and I'll show you what a completed plane looks like. So if I were the green player, this is what my plane would look like to start the game. I would then also be able to choose one upgrade, which would allow me to either put an extra number one engine on there or another seat. And when we modify the plane, so let's say that I put another seat in here, I would just place it like this, give them some room. And that's what my plane would look like with two seats. Now, if I wanted to do an engine upgrade after that, then I can just put the extra engine like so. And now you can see my plane actually has a speed of four. Um, and I know I'm kind of getting into the how, I, how to play the game a little more than I usually do. So I apologize, it's just like I said, I'd already played this uh, several times now. So I'm gonna save all the other rule stuff until we actually do our playthrough and review. The uh, other item I talked about was having those other airline permits. So when I wanna add that to my plane, I just put it on the back there and that's what my plane would look like. The other planes would look very similar. So that really is all there is to now boarding from Fowers Games. It is cool, and we hope to be bringing this to you soon. So keep an eye on our channel, and we will catch you guys next time. And here is a quick look at all of the components that you get. You see here's your seats, your engines, your uh, other airline tokens, and I want to per permits, and I want to show you that these are double-sided. Your VIP cards, your weather cards, all of your various um, passenger cards. And you'll notice, I didn't point this out, but all the passengers that are going to a certain location all have the same image on them. So like you'll always see this lady on the cards going to Denver, this lady for the, all the ones going to DFW, JFK, Miami, Chicago, Seattle, and so forth. And then the other thing I didn't point out is on the back of your cockpit section of your airplane, it tells you what their home city is, and that's where your plane is gonna start. So in this guy's case, he is going to start in Dallas, Fort Worth. And now, that is all there is to now boarding. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.